Welcome to the Miscellaneous Podcast. Brasley is not just our awesome, funny co-host. He's another podcaster, and you can find his shows at gnomepodcast.com. Hey, how are you doing? Good. Apparently, I can't pay Paul to, uh, you know, respond to a text missile. Why? Why'd you text me? Well, I wanted to see if you wanted to have a have a, a trivia day today. Yeah. What? What? What do you mean? Well, I figured I could do the trivia this time. Ooh. Oh. And you could do the participation. Oh, that sounds awesome. Do you have something available? Yeah, I'm, I can go. I mean, that's why I wanted you to answer me back on text message. Yeah. Is uh, Jarak going to be here? Or? No, Jarak might be leaving the show. Oh, why? Well, um, he started his own podcast. Movies in Contemplation with Jarak and... Callie, but uh, he's stressed out or some shit, I don't know, but... We talked about, I mean, he'll come on whenever he can, but he's probably just not going to be on anymore. Oh, I liked it. I yeah. I liked Jarak. We all did. I mean, I had a sad place in my heart for half the day from that crap, you know? Yeah, I mean, I guess, uh, wow, that kind of sucks. Mm-hmm. No, don't worry. He's, he's going to miss this too much. Come know. on, let's think about it. Let's think about it. You live with your wife. You're doing a podcast with your wife. They're going to fucking kill each other. <laughs> Verbally. <laughs> Trust me. He's going to be like, ah, I want to hang out with the boys in Cupcake. So he'll be back. See you guys, me. Well, and good luck to him. Yeah, I, I know it sounds bad, but I mean, I wish, I wish the best for him. But at the same time, it's like, Jesus, dude. Oh, I know. That, You've only that, just that, begun. <laughs> That's a talented kid. So yeah, we're still gonna have him for the audio story for the Halloween slasher story. We're still gonna have him for some things, but the majority of stuff he ain't gonna come on for anymore. He doesn't want to even do miscellaneous movies anymore. Oh man, mm-hmm. that was well, his thing. Yeah. That's all right, man. Life goes on. Yeah, that's less on me to edit, so. <laughs> Cupcake Creations on Facebook. Our very own Cupcake. Capitalize the E in Cupcake. I had this problem, if you will long long time ago and it's creeping up again we were outside the other day and i was talking to lavender and we're having a cigarette you know and um he's we're talking about so we there's this um there's a guy that we know that we just got introduced with who has a network of podcasts that you know they it's kind of I don't know. I have to check it out more, but from what I understand, it's kind of cool, you know. And he's going to check out our podcast to see if it is something he would like to put into the fold of it. Now, do you remember uh, how, like, Scott Johnson and um, Convert to Raid have, like, a, a network of other podcasters, too? Yes. Okay, I don't know how it works, but this is that kind of deal. Yeah, I, um, I'm in a I'm in a network right now. Um, oh, okay. It has uh, explain more about the network that they talk about because there's a few like red flags I have. So, um, who is this person first? Well, we can get into that off air, but let okay. me just give you some more stuff, okay? So, the <laughs> the problem that I had before, and you were there when I had this problem before, where you have all these other podcasters out there, then they sound like ass. I mean, they literally just for there's there's one that goes on for three hours of the one guy who's talking about shit and his microphone sounds like shit. And he has subscribers and followers and all this other crap. And why is there so much noise in the background, Brian? Uh, I hit the wrong button. Oh, OK. And it started. And it started. <laughs> and it started. I'm going to talk uh, about my things and why Brian is there. <laughs> Well, it started Brian. playing. 
I started playing my uh, YouTube. YouTube. My way to hell. Got it. Yeah, no, it was, it was YouTube. <laughs> I mean, I, I can't delete this thing off my phone, but I pushed the wrong button and I started playing YouTube. It's like, yeah, that's what I want to jack to. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just deep in thought and I'm, I keep hearing. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> hey, so I, if I can interrupt real quick, I, I don't understand what, what's a network. So like when you guys talk about podcasting, so like say there's one big popular one that had been established for many years. Well, then it's kind of like he gets a group of other people to join him, and from that they generate revenue. Oh, so a pyramid scheme? Kind of. Okay. <laughs> well, continue. Yeah. I'm, kinda, it, it, I'm it, just getting familiar with this. Yeah, it's, it's another way. It's another way the man can keep you down. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> All right, then. All right shit God. Went, shit went bad. <laughs> All right, Godfather. What shit are you getting this into? Um. No. No. Like my my whole thing is when I was telling this guy this, it's like, dude. First off. I don't think we'll fit into your network because it's all about one thing. And then you have my show in there, which <laughs> fucking hits every end of a spectrum. <laughs> yeah, like, don't take this the wrong way, Polly. Like, in the network I'm in, I don't know if Miss Lady's podcast would be a good fit for it. No, there's no. A, we're not a good fit for most. Yes, well, that's yeah. exactly it. I mean, I would love to be out there, but the reality of it is. Um, and, and this is, this is where it falls down to another thing too. Okay. So we were listening to Frazzlecast yesterday. Okay. Yeah. And I was showing uh, Lavender. I'm like, look, 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 he's similar to me. That's why we have a lot in common. He takes time. He edits. He manipulates the show the way he needs it. He does these things. So it's an entertaining show, you know, kind of like ours. You, you get on, you listen to ours and like, Everybody kind of laughs or whatever with the sounders and whatever the case may be. There's only a handful of them out there. And there's thousands upon thousands of podcasts out there. You take like Joe Rogan, for example. You don't need a sounder because he's a celebrity. Because he has things he wants to talk about and there's a live feed and they all smoke weed and they talk about this. They And you're watching a celebrity because you're watching it to watch him. Now all of us nobodies... We do a different thing. We do it for whatever the case may be. I do this because I like doing what we do. Yeah, I like doing it because it entertains me throughout the day. Absolutely. And I think you do a, a great job with that because it's it like this show could be. It could be a cluster, <laughs> but you make it a, a you make it actually good. Thank you. And, and you're right. <laughs> it literally is a cluster. <laughs> Here, well, at the same age. time, no, the this, this show is so multifaceted and it doesn't fit in a certain genre. So mm-hmm. you can't be under one umbrella. And then, ha- okay, so you got him up top and I, I don't think you should commit to anybody. Yeah. Oh, you know, no. You know, That's I'm, another thing, know. too. And I'm glad you brought that up because that is one that is a big thing because of the fact that. The reality of it is, it's kind of like, do you want, did you sure you want the show, our show to be in there? Uh, while you guys only talk about this game you play? Um, well, and at the same time, when, if it's about money, I'm sorry, when we all know how money works, when you got money, you got a fucking den of thieves around trying to <laughs> fuck somebody over. I'm serious, man. It's yeah. just, it's best to just, do your own thing and just let things work out. When somebody is coming to you and you have a successful show, that hey, it's like the record industry. It's like Barry Gord is going to give me a hundred bucks for all my masters. Let's mm-hmm. that makes no fucking sense. I, yeah, so ca- as, I I completely and totally agree with that. And and, I got, I, and one thing that I've also I'm sorry I didn't mean to cut you off, but if this guy is you know going to pay you money then you're kind of like obligated to crank out content every week or every other day or at the schedule that he wants you to crank out content to him at. Yeah. Now, part of me is that's kind of what inevitably what I would really love is to have that and then like take a hiatus from the job I have right now and just focus on this. Everybody would love to do that. Hell yeah. You oh, know? I, I mean, yeah, I'd, I'd love to do that. Now, I actually got approached about a, 
a few weeks back by a a up and coming gaming network that wanted me on, but they said, "Oh, and by the way, you have to switch your entire feed over to us, and you won't have to pay for it, but we own your feed." And I'm like, "No way." Yeah, yeah, because I went through that with uh, the Summoning Stone. I own their show. They were just like, "Yeah, this is not as fun as we thought it would be." <laughs> What were the terms of this person? Like, have they done a network before? Like, what were they asking from you? Or you, or you didn't get that far? Um, I would rather talk about that privately. Okay, got it. And I would hate for anyone in this room to get a false sense of something. Got it. Oh, that's it. I quit my job. I'm rich. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ideas are good, man, but there are bad ideas. I want part of that $5 million that he promised you, Paulie. Yep. Now I get I get stuff like this more often than I thought, you know, when it comes to the show. You know, everybody has these ideas and everything that you you find out about like if a listener goes, "Oh my god, this is really cool. This is blah blah blah." And then next thing you know, you're like, "Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Um, who are you?" So <laughs> I get a mixture of of a feeling when it comes down to stuff like this where it goes, "Hmm, Okay, have you listened to the show? It's a broad spectrum. And they're like, well, how would you describe your show? And I'm like, miscellaneous. I don't know any other way to say it. That's why we say it's a title that says it all. Every week is something random. (laughs) And um, then, then it turns into, I look at all these other podcasts of successful people, and I go... This lacks a fucking great intro. This lacks a fucking good microphone. This lacks fucking content. I don't want to sit here for an hour and a half and listen to a guy go, yeah, um, hey, you remember that inside joke that happened the other day? Let's talk about that for an hour. And no one knows what the fuck we're talking about. But then again, you can also, like, I, I listen to Stone Cold Steve Austin and when he, his podcast, and he can talk about taking his wife to Home Depot and buying flowers and I can sit and listen to that shit for hours. Yeah, but you're you're listening to a celebrity. <clears throat> True. Yeah, that's that's what I was saying earlier when it comes to Joe Rogan. Because I listen to a lot of celebrity podcasts. You know, my favorite one besides, you know, Rogan and all of the stuff is the Lex Luthor. What was his name? Um Michael Rosenbaum. I love his show, you know? He recently had Dolph Lundgren on there. I was like, fuck yeah, I want to hear what the hell this guy has to say. <laughs> so, All right. Well, that's that's just my little rant I have. I know out of the things going on in, the, in this world with the shootings and the shitty politics and everything like that, that's what bothered me. <laughs> but you, hey, know man, what? you know what? That's keeping it light. And I, and I, got, and I ain't even mad at you for that. <laughs> I would love to get into like I would. Uh, Lavender's Corner is going to be rough this this uh, this next one around because I want to kind of hit everything. <laughs> what does that mean? Lavender's Corner has taken a turn. It's no longer like what it used to be. It's more like our soapbox. We can just bitch on. <laughs> no, <laughs> I listened to I listened to that episode from last week and it was really good. It was really good, and I'm sorry, he was funny as fuck. Oh, yeah, when he's talking about, like, when you're sleeping and your feet are exposed. Oh, yeah, it was really good. Yeah. yeah. I, I When I gave him no, like, real, no direction, <laughs> no longer are we going to find a topic to talk about, then all of a yeah. sudden he's all like, dude, do you want to hear this really cool joke I heard from a guy about <laughs> masturbating and, like, dead relatives looking down on you? And I'm like, yeah, sure, fuck it, let's do it. And that was perfect because I think all of us have thought the same thing. Like, oh, fuck, my grandma's probably watching. This is fucked up. <laughs> I didn't until I heard that joke. <laughs> but, but, well, here's what's really fucked up is why would my grandma or dead relative want to watch me fucking yanking one out? <laughs> like, like, this is so impressive. Here, we'll squeeze one out. The only thing I ever get is, um, like, if you have a pet in the room, like a dog. And oh, you're you're having sex, and the dog comes in, and that's where I feel awkward because it's like, huh, um, hmm, hmm. Can we let him out real quick? <laughs> no, I mean, you wonder that. if the animal knows. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I mean, 
I'm pretty well, sure. And, and I had a and I had a dog. I had a dog that you know when you know I was serving up a beat down. He would he would come in the room <laughs> and he would and he would just sit Warming there. up the yogurt thrower. Yeah, <laughs> he'd he'd, uh, he'd come in the room. He'd sit there and he'd be looking at me like, "Here you are getting whatever it is that you're getting, and you chop mine off before I could even get a taste." Oh, <laughs> do you think he looked at? Do you think he was like, "Damn, I wish I had thumbs." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and 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 my my last dog, he he would. Uh, I may be TMI, but he would he would air hump. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, this is what's going on. Mm, mm, mm. But I, had, I, had, I had a dog that would he was so fucked up, but he would scrounge up a blanket and then dry hump it. Like what? The fuck yeah, is going on. <laughs> my buddy's friends. Well, one of my buddies, his dog does it too. Our dog was funny. We had a Chow Chow and a Yogi. Would try to do that every once in a while with whatever, and my mom would yes. beat the living hell out of that dog. <laughs> Did you say a yogi? Yeah, we called him Yogi. He was our chow chow. Oh, uh, ch- so it was a chow. The yeah, dog's chow. name was Yogi. Gotcha. I thought he was. <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought he was. <laughs> the dog. Sounds like sometimes, sounds like the, sometimes like, you have to speak <laughs> slow for the special kids. It's one of those yeah. like things where you pull it and he goes. Oh, it sounds like the start of a Credence Clearwater Revival song. Yogi was a chow chow. And then, and then, and then, was a good oh, friend. never mind. Like a <laughs> dog night song. I never understood a single word he said, but I All right, Josh. Let's do some trivia. Josh, you better I bring don't it, want buddy. to. What? <laughs> this dog <laughs> masturbation topic is more interesting? Well, today I just, well, actually it was last week I wanted to look up, uh, I was looking up stupid stuff about Texas and then it just, it got out of control. So I was like, let's do, <laughs> let's do some, uh, some stupid trivia about, uh, about Texas. And, uh, and, you know, instead of me having to answer the questions all the time, we're going to have Polly answer the questions. Wow. That sounds good. Pressure, so, Paul. Do you want yes. to do, do you want to do, do, do it like, um, you know, convince the convince the crowd, and maybe see if you can, you know, logic your way through them, or do you just want to go with like a uh, the mob set? Hmm. Well, before you start, full disclosure: I'm from Texas, so Polly, you're under the microscope. Oh fuck! Oh, you're, yeah, you're gonna have some fun. We're gonna have some fun with this because this, these are some these some weird, just some weird things about Texas. However you oh, want to do it, um, I can do it either way. I kind of want to see if I can think my way through. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, I, you know, we'll just we'll just go with that then. Okay, well then put in the sounder under pressure. Under pressure, do, 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 do. or vanilla ice, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Polly. First question. <laughs> what vanilla ice one? Ninja Rap? Because it's it's the same thing as Ice Ice Baby. Oh, the rift. Yeah, my name's Carl. Near bald moment. Okay, Polly, you ready? Sure. Which is a shorter distance from Port Arthur to El Paso, or Port Arthur to Chicago, Illinois? <laughs> <laughs> All right. What is a shorter distance? Yeah, from from Port from Arthur, Port Texas Arthur. to El Paso, Paso. or from or, Port Arthur to Chicago, Illinois. I'd and say it's Chicago. A, and it's a port, right? What's well, a town in Texas? Oh, it's a town in Texas. Oh, okay, that changes everything. Because He's stalling Texas... while he looks it up on his tablet. No, He's no. just trying to Google map it. <laughs> I'm, all, I'm all like, and Chicago. Could you use it in a <laughs> sentence? <laughs> yeah, <can you? laughs> Uh-oh. I think I fucked everything up. Hold on. Back in these restroom. Please stand by while I Google map this question. Oh. Sounds good. This ain't <laughs> a good show. All right, we're nah, back that... on track. Uh, that guy can fuck himself. No, no, no. no. <laughs> it just... 
All right, so... That's pretty hard to do. I would say <laughs> the port to El Paso would be longer than to Chicago. You're right. Oh. From Port Arthur to El Paso is 889 miles. And from now, Port Arthur to Chicago is 770 miles. So what I'm, what I'm thinking is Port is probably somewhere in the northern central area of Texas. And El Paso is, of course, where we all know El Paso at, right? Yeah. Well, um, Port Arthur is actually on the east side of Texas, so like all the way across Texas. Okay, I knew it had to be something like that because Texas is one big ass state. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, like a buddy. country. Texas is the one state that you can drive through for twenty four hours and still be in the same state. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. that's crazy. All I know is uh, whenever I go visit Josh and I hit Kansas, Texas or Kansas. Time slows down. I could literally drive through Arkansas and Missouri and everything like a just a snap through the finger. Oklahoma, meh, meh. and then right when you hit that, fuck, you're stuck. Yeah, you it looks Texas like you went time, two man. blocks. Yeah, you're just like, well, there goes eight hours. Where are we at? Oh, it's just back there's the border. What the fuck? Uh, no, it reminds me of driving from St. Louis to Colorado. You just go 70 west the entire fucking time. Who's driven the entire length of Kansas? It's road hypnosis. Yeah. It's a fucking nightmare. And it's a lot of roadkill, too. (laughs) Oh, I had to drive. No, I had to drive from St. Louis to Denver to help a friend and then drive all. I did a help a move. Oh, some girl had to, but I went with my friend stuff out. You do. St. Louis to Denver, and then turn around, and go right back. You want to murder somebody afterwards? I can't even oh, imagine man. Texas. We did a California turnaround one time, and I'm, I, I would never do that ever again. Yeah, <laughs> suicide's waiting at home. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Ready for your next one? Yes, sir. This is also a, a uh, you know just about how big Texas is. This is a quote. The sun has risen and the sun has set, and we is still in Texas yet, is a quote that used to be on the back of one. Billboards. Mm. No, oh, no, 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 oh. no, no. I would say that would be on the back of roadmaps. No. No, I'm going to go with billboards. I'm going to go with billboards. Is there Anybody a multiple else? choice? <laughs> uh, I was going to say it was a bumper sticker. I'm probably going to guess uh, guess the, uh, the Texas man? Department of Corrections vehicles. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. No. Um, actually, Paul, if you had gone with your second answer, you'd have been right. It was on the back of all state maps. No way. I would have been right. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wow. That is ridiculous. Who still who still has been to Nashville and one of my friends pulled an atlas out of her glove compartment? Yeah. I, I, didn't, uh, I didn't know maps still existed. Yeah, yeah. There we went to when we went to Wisconsin, we stopped off at a rest stop and they had a shit ton of them at a rest stop, and I hadn't seen those in years either. So last time I saw a map was at a well, at the public library they have maps. <laughs> <laughs> Next question, please. Good job, Josh. Yay. This is kind of fun. I've never been on the other end of it. <laughs> yeah, I know. You have to be, yeah. Okay, the first domed stadium in the United States was where? Dallas. Wrong. Houston. Was it Houston? Yeah, it's oh. the Houston Astrodome. Oh, my God. I know that. Son of a bitch. I knew that. I was just thinking because the damn huge... <laughs> Gobatron they have in Texas or whatever it's called. Oh. The Jumbotron, that's it, yeah. Yeah. All right, next one. This one this one's a little bit long, but Texas is the only state to enter the United States by treaty known as the Constitution of 1845 by the Republic of Texas. This allows the Texas flag to fly at the same height as the US flag 
and Texas may choose to divide into how many states? Whoa. Yeah, that was long. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> um, so I remember Sam Houston and all of them were the ones who really kind of got that going. Wow. Um, this is why no one wants uh, Texas to secede. Because they, I know it can turn quote, into its yeah. own – they always talk about how it can turn into its own country if it's, it could yeah. succeed. No, so, Texas isn't going to secede. It's not happening. But what I'm saying is, is that so, they're talking so, about so the huge about size it, of it. Let me explain something to, to everyone about we the people of Texas. Texas always says we're going to secede, we're going to secede, we want to do this, we want to do that. Then we get our check from the federal government and we're quiet for about six months. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> well, actually, whenever um, whenever Obama was handing out all those uh, bailouts and stuff, Texas refused there. Whoa. Well, when the other 49 states come and fuck you up, just be quiet. I would say Dude, unlimited all the, amount of states. All, all the other states. All the other states don't have guns. We got a lot of. Uh, all right, my got, answer would be uh, probably unlimited amount. Like it, it's pretty much, it could just take, go wherever. According to the treaty, it can actually divide itself up into five different states. Oh, okay, wow! Okay, that can Mother easily be done too. Yeah. Hmm. Motherfuck! I was about to say five. Son <clears> of a. <throat> you should have jumped on it. <laughs> well. <I> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> All right. Good job, Josh. Touche. <laughs> Hats off to you. Oh, fun fact. Me and A.A. Ron and Lavender and all of us were out drinking last night. That's probably why I slept all yep. the way until I <laughs> had to go get on the show. <laughs> Have you ever had jalapeno jelly? Uh, no. Oh, what? God, yeah. Ugh. Ugh. Wait, Marco, have you, ever had, have you ever had jalapeno jelly? No, it sounds good. What do you put it on? <laughs> Anything. It's delicious. <laughs> Beatism. You ever had it? <laughs> no, I, I've not had jalapeno jelly, but I did today get at the at the my local Walmart. I got a free sample of sunflower butter. <laughs> Where the where the <laughs> fuck are, where the fuck are you guys shopping? I don't think. Fry, I like, heard have anything. you ever heard of any of those two? And have you ever tasted any of those two? A jalapeno jelly. Mm hmm. I no, but that sounds really delicious. Well, Paul, <laughs> when you come down here, you're gonna try some jalapeno jelly. I don't know if that's a good idea. Yeah, <laughs> I don't. dude, it's it's awesome. I'm kind of okay. jelly right now. You know, you know I'm, I'm kind of thinking that it would be great on, like, poppy seed bread or something, you know? It's great well, on eggs. It's great on Oh, I could see, it's like, breakfast, biscuits. yeah, or chili. Stuff that right. needs that kick. Yeah. Well, hold on, guys. Just be ready to edit. And I'm not going to be <laughs> Maybe you're jacking off someone who eats too much jalapeno. We just talked about dogs being around <laughs> us while we jack off, and you're worried yeah. about us editing out if you jacked off somebody who had, well, if it's someone right. jacked off who had too much jalapeno. Yeah, jack off a jalapeno farmer. I don't yeah. know. Cupcake is our <laughs> um, is <laughs> is our female uh, in the group. Oh. You ever been with somebody who had too much jalapeno? <laughs> <laughs> I would uh, have too much uh, jalapeno in the eye. <laughs> I've, I've, uh, I've, uh, I've read, uh, I've read, I've, okay, so I'll keep this as PG as I can for our listeners. I read a story about a guy who decided to do butt stuff with a, with a lady of the night and she butt ate, stuff. she, uh, ate jalapenos and, uh, he got one of them lodged in his urethra. Mm. <laughs> yeah. What? Mm. Yeah. Goodness. No, I think that's called gonorrhea. Well, that probably would have us too, but, you know, it's, it's just one of those things you just run across. You go down that rabbit hole that is, you know, Facebook, and you see that stuff, and, and it's like, <laughs> well, um, it's it's just like you're watching movies and watching all this stuff, and it's like, well, it's there, so hmm. might as well read it. I wouldn't doubt it. And Cupcake is, uh, thank God, 
he will be in Texas when this happens. His ass will burn. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> true, true. Oh. All right. True or false? El Paso is closer to California than it is to Dallas. True. El Paso is, uh, it is, it's, it's only closer by a couple of miles, but yeah, it's actually closer to California than it is to Dallas. <laughs> All right. I'm doing pretty good in this quiz. <laughs> the heat is on. <laughs> it's in your ass <laughs> from the Facebook. <laughs> My chair is pretty, you know, it's weird. Cause I'm so used to being focused. And right now I'm like relaxing, so my chair's <laughs> really like making a lot of noise. Back. Here, I'm gonna switch chairs real quick. Oh well, fun fact: jalapeno jelly originated in Lake Jackson in 1978. Where's Lake Jackson? Down south, south of uh, Houston, south like, of Galveston. Oh, okay. I thought it would have been like Louisiana or something like that. It's a sea town. Josh, how you been, man? Oh, I've been good. I've I've actually been on vacation. I've been having fun. Yeah, where'd you go? <laughs> Nowhere. I stayed uh, at home. Fucking I did perfect. nothing, and it was everything that I dreamed it could be. <laughs> right. <laughs> now I'm getting ready to head, dream. <laughs> I'm getting ready to head to KC. We're going to catch a Chiefs game and get a bachelor party. Nice. No, it'll be fun. All right. Are we ready? I hope your fondue replacement happens, or your fondue refund check, so to speak, happens before <laughs> you leave. <laughs> <laughs> No, <laughs> I'm going to cast that shit. <laughs> okay, next question, please. <laughs> <sighs> shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. <clears throat> Crap, where was I? Hold on. Something about the uh, true and false about El Paso. This stuff's from New York City. Get the rope. <laughs> okay, ready? Yes. The Capitol Dome in Austin is the only dome in the United States that's taller than the Capitol Building in Washington, D.C. True or false? What? The Capitol? The Capitol yeah, the, the, yeah the Capitol Building in Austin is taller than the Capitol Building in Washington, D.C. True or false? Wow. I'm just going to go... True, just because I want to hear about this. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, everything's big in Texas. It's got to yeah. be bigger than everyone else. That's right. It's true. It's actually seven feet taller than the uh, than the state building or the Capitol building in Washington D. What does it look like, Frasley? Are you still listening with us? Yep, I'm, I'm still here. Can you pull up the picture of this Austin Capitol building? Yeah, the Capitol Dome in Austin. He's like, hold on, stand by. <laughs> uh, it's all right. I'm, a- <laughs> I'm having a cigarette. I mean, you. That's who I want to get on the show next to, um, Frasley. You know Dirks, right? I think so. Yeah, he hangs out with, um, Josh will know this name. He hangs out with, uh, what's her face? I know um, what's her face, yeah. yeah. Yeah, me too. I know what's her face. Um, oh, crap. What? Now I'm all, meh, my name's Pearl, meh. I can't remember names. Is that it, Josh? Wait, is it a replica yeah, of it. the one in Washington, D.C.? For some reason, I thought it was like a uh, a different one. No, that's the one. Wow. That's You see the Texas flag flying on the left. I do. That's cool looking. It looks a little bit different than the other ones. Have you noticed that? It does look a little different than other White House or Capitol buildings. Huh. All right, next question. Which is further away? Brownsville to Tex Line, which is right around Amarillo, or Tex Line to Canada? There. I don't know if Texas is that big. But this is go- ba- this is basically north to south. Yeah, that's what I'm that's what I'm figuring. That's why I'm kind of like if I would take a puzzle piece of Texas off and smack it against the United States, you know, would it be big enough? It's a trick question. I'm going to go with no. I'm going to go with false. No. 
It's not. I'm going to go with uh, the Canada one is longer than the other one is. You're a pretty good guess. By four miles. Uh, That's text it? Text line to Canada, four miles, yeah. No way. Text line to Canada. <laughs> that would be more than that. <laughs> 60 miles. Wow, and Texas. Text line to Brownville, hmm. or Brownsville, is a 956 miles, four miles. Hmm. Now I have a question for you. And this is for anyone in the room. If you know any of your history about Texas, this is for our listeners too, because I want to know some more too. Originally, was the Spanish territory all the way up to Oregon? Did I lose? Um, yeah. <laughs> no. I, what's the question? I just said no, it. no, te- no. Texas never went. Texas didn't go that far west, like California and like those those. No, border I meant states when it was really still Spanish. Territory before like, we took it over. Didn't it go all the way up until like Oregon? Yeah, Louisiana. Or Seattle Purpose. or well, whatever. That, like, whatever it was, more the, was that Washington? That's, yeah, that's more the Louisiana Purchase, bro. Yeah. Huh? No, I meant you take Texas and then Arizona, California, and all that used to be Spanish territory, right? Yes. So Washington, I guess, is the the one where it stopped at, right? Yeah, yeah. I think that was the Louisiana Purchase. Huh? No, that no. Oh, uh, sorry, I'm not a history major. I just every time I think of Louisiana Purchase, I think of like the plains for some reason. <laughs> I think the yeah, Oregon no, Trail. The the, the the Louisiana Purchase was basically like the entire Midwest mm. was Louisiana. Okay, good because I was right. There. Okay. Does that include Texas? No, I don't think it included mm-hmm. Texas. No, but... because no, because it was separated by the Mississippi River. Yeah. yeah, and and that was uh that was what Jefferson bought that for what three cents an acre or something like that. Wow, I think yeah. it was like I think it was like forty million. <clears throat> wow, yeah, yeah. It did, who did they it buy it from? It cost much. The French. Oh, oh, wow. So the French owned the United States before we ever did, huh? About half of it, yeah. <laughs> no shit. Well, they say they owned it. I I own your car. I'm going to say that. I'll put it in the history book. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't own shit. Were they there? I don't think so. They just said they owned it. I know there's a lot of fur traders back in the day. All right, next question. All right, here you go. Ready? Rhode Island is bigger than the King Ranch in South Texas. No, come on, Texas uh-huh. is big. Rhode Island's very small. Well, I think it only. T- I think it's like forty miles across. Long way. Yeah, I, I mean, you can a- drive through it in an hour. I, I I don't know how big that part of Texas is. I would say that Texas is bigger. Yeah, Texas is bigger. The King Ranch is fucking huge. <laughs> <laughs> now, what's the King Ranch anyway? What's so special about it? It's it's one of the largest uh, privately owned ranches in South Texas. Well, who owns it? The King family. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think they shoot off fireworks on Fourth of July? I think no one could stop them if they wanted to. <laughs> I mean, they, you live on a ranch that's bigger than Rhode Island. I mean, <laughs> yeah, they probably got their own police station. And <laughs> it's almost like that. Well, is is shooting off fireworks legal or illegal in Texas? Um, in in Texas, it's most city limits. It's illegal. So it's like St. Louis, then. Okay. Yeah. Well. Yeah. It's County, uh, in yeah. in yeah in most city limits, it's illegal. But like <laughs> you know, small towns and places like this, it's you know they don't. Well, uh, okay. So let's put this in perspective real quick. Guns are no problem. Anyone can have them, but fireworks that go pew, illegal. It's because it's so dry I'm, out there, I guess. I, yeah, a lot uh, of it's just it's because of you know brush fires and things like that. Yeah. Oh, okay. I get that. Yeah, because I mean, yeah, there's to, like it's like we, there's like all the counties around us right now are have a burn ban. Like you can, you know, most places you can burn trash and things like that. You can't do that right now because. Everything will catch fire. Well, that makes sense. Yeah, because I'll say we went to Wally World while we were down there, 
And you'd walk past a truck and you see a shotgun or some kind of gun on the dash. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> and it's but, a superstar. No, it was crazy to see how different even Walmart was. Uh, this the stuff they had in there because we showed a picture of it where everybody cared about what was on the shelf. Then the whole joke about Josh's face being um, obscured in all the photographs. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a donkey or some kind of dinosaur you could ride on. It was really cool. So, goodness. All right, next question. No, it was. Remember, it's a tab picture. You remember the tab picture? Oh yeah. Who's tab? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's some Back to the Future, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'll take a tab. <laughs> a what? I'll just take a coffee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. All right. Despite its size, Texas only has one natural lake. Oh, that's... Hmm. Hmm. Are we talking about, like... I don't know, because there's... Do you consider, like, small lakes lakes? Or, like, are we talking, like, a big, big lake, like Michigan Lake? Well, Texas has those, too. I don't know. I want to say no because I've never heard of any lakes in Texas other than like when you drive and you see like a little pondish type lake. I'll Seriously, say no, bro. Seriously, bro. What? I'm, I'm from I'm from Louisville, Texas, and Lake Louisville is right there. Oh, <laughs> I almost I almost bought a camper from uh, somebody in Louisville just yesterday. So Lake Lewis. So I was wrong then. Okay. Yeah, you were wrong. There's only there is only <laughs> one natural made lake in uh in Texas, and that's Caddo Lake. Hmm. You don't know where Caddo Lake is. It's over by Austin. But it's man made though. It's not even real. No, it's it's a it's a natural. Oh, it's a lake. natural. Okay, yeah, because I never heard of any lakes in Texas, so I would. They have was... lakes. They're big ass lakes, but they're all you know either made by like the Army Corps of Engineers or. You know, they've been, you know, dammed up. There's some damn yeah, Yankees. actually, Cupcake is killing this, uh, this, uh, little questionnaire. I don't think she's gotten one wrong yet. So, I'm gonna have to, uh, I'm gonna have to, uh, give, give, uh, Polly here a, uh, lesson in science about aquifers and how they work <laughs> for us. Oh, cool. Hello? Yeah. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> but I'm, I'm sorry, just I'm... reading all through uh, Cupcake's thing. Next question. Okay. Um, Houston is so big that almost... What is it? How does it go? Let me look it up right quick. Hold on. <laughs> she said yes. She said. <laughs> Houston is so big that almost... Regardless of where you are, you are always an hour outside of Houston. True. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. go with the senses yeah. and go true with that. I agree. Yeah, Houston is actually so big that almost regardless of where you are, it will take you an hour to get out of Houston. My um, my only experience with Houston was going down to your place, and I caught a tip of it, so to speak. And it takes forever. When I got off of the highway, onto the highway going into Houston was like Mad Max beyond Thunderdome. I white knuckled it for like two blocks before I had to get off <laughs> on your yeah. exit. And I, I really thought I was going to fucking die. I mean, it scared the shit out of me how fast everybody was going, how they just rode pretty much almost touching my bumper. And they're like honking at me like, come on, man, let's go. I'm, I'm going to nudge you along. I mean, oh, it's so scary. <laughs> Yeah, Houston wow. Houston is like the only place where like you could be in the slow lane doing 10 miles an hour over the speed limit and someone will pass you playing move bitch get out, get the, out way. the way get out the way <laughs> and I'm seeing and and they're not even looking at the road cuz they're like everybody's looking at me as they're like changing lanes like what the fuck <laughs> Yeah and then, here's a, here's actually a true story I was driving from from Houston to um, Huntsville, which is like a, I don't know, maybe a sixty-five mile stretch of uh, of road, and uh, 
I was in the in the slow lane doing the speed limit because you know I <laughs> I had a car that was you know uh, of questionable integrity, and uh, you know to go like seventy five was probably going to blow it up. But I was doing I was doing the speed limit at sixty five. I actually got passed by a cop, and when he when he started to pass me, he got next to me, honked his horn. I looked over. And he whipped his fingers at me like, move your ass. <laughs> nice. So I was doing the speed limit on a highway. And a cop looked over at me and told me to speed the fuck up. I had the same thing. So I was driving down 270 and in St. Louis. And I guess this uh, cop clocked this girl going – whatever she was going. And I was next to a semi in the fast lane. And I look in my rear view and he's telling me that I'm already going 80 in a rice burner. And he's telling me to speed the fuck up so he can get around me <laughs> to go pull this girl over. And I'm like, I threw up Taco Bell in my fucking lap. And I had to call off work. Cause this cop was like, speed the fuck up. Get the fuck out of the way so I can get this girl who was going seven. I don't know what the yeah. fuck. No, nah, it was no, nah, it was messed up. I have to turn around, and go home, call off work. Mm. Story over. Yeah, <laughs> nice. up Taco Bell. <laughs> yeah, I've never had a cop tell me to speed up. <laughs> <That's so laughs> All right, next question. Tejas is Spanish for Texas. False. Uh, no, that's true. I'll go with Frasley and Cupcake. False. Apparently, you know, whatever Cupcake says, you know, Tejas actually is the Hassini Indian word for friend. Huh. So what's Texas, the... Tejas is not Spanish for Texas. Tejas or Tejos? Tejas. So, so, what is Tejas? Tejas is the Hassini Indian word for friend. Oh, <clears throat> sorry. How many oh, Indian wow. tribes were in Texas? A bunch, but not anymore. Mm. <laughs> well, <laughs> I shouldn't say that. <laughs> okay, okay. Let me rephrase the. Let me rephrase the question. In in where we lived, I mean, we all grew up knowing there was Sioux over here. We had Cherokee, Black Hawk, whatever. Um, is it like that in Texas where they go, oh, uh, blah, blah, blah used to be here, blah, blah, blah used to be here, or is it just – because I read about Katie back in the day of how it got oh, – no, oh, I'm yeah, sorry, yeah. where you live at right now and how there was Indians that lived there before, but they didn't really mention the name that I saw, or at least I don't remember. Yeah, yeah. It's like uh, – yeah, here – well, this was where uh, Comanche Indians were. Oh. And then over in – Comanche. In blanket, My name's yeah, Comanche. You got it. Um, over in Blanket, which is about 15 miles away, there was a, a tribe of Indians there, and they, they actually supposedly they've actually cursed the land over there. Ooh. And it's it's really weird too because like whenever I drive to work, I have the radio on, and every time I go past Blanket, my radio reception cuts out. No way. I love yeah, that. Yeah. It's yeah, it's it's weird. I don't know if it's just because or you know I don't Do know. Do they maybe they just don't have cell towers over there? No, they have cell towers over there. It's just for whatever reason it only messes with like like if I'm listening to the radio. Huh. I'm about to do some research for that, for the Halloween yeah. stuff. That's I'm curious, yeah. Yeah, that, uh, well, when you get into like Indian or I'm sorry, Native American territory, they got a lot of just stuff going on that we can't understand. Oh yeah, yeah. There's a uh, one really cool, just off topic, real fast. Um, I'm starting to get into my Hall Halloween, you know, feel, you know, my Halloween mode, and um, I was watching this. Um, the, the Halloween series I have. Let me get to the point here. One of the episodes, it was a building that was an electronics store, and they kept hearing like people screaming and all this other stuff in the building. They had video and audio of all this stuff, and it turns out that it used to be like an Indian burial ground. They put a mini mart over. Like, oh, that's, 
That's freaky. Yeah. No, no, that's not a good idea, man. So you picture not like good. Radio Shack and, you know, <laughs> like the nail salon and also Boatman's Bank of some sorts. And they're all like going in. Hey, how's everybody doing today? <laughs> 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 Uh, Boatman's Bank still around? I don't know. I just thought of a bank name. Boatman? Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> That's from the 80s, isn't it? <laughs> you blew Dude. the dust off of that one. That's for sure. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Uh, another off topic real fast. I'm sorry. The fucking uh, the audio store, the, the Halloween Slasher Story 3. Um, it's all based in 80s. The American Horror Story this year is all based in a summer camp in the eighties. Nice. Oh, I'm so pissed, and I'm. I'll tell you why. If you look at the teaser trailer, the the fucking scene where the the thing comes from the water and stabs the the person in a boat is the same scene I wrote, but they're on a raft. The they're fuck, watching you. dude! I'm telling you, man. <sighs> I think uh, they're, they're 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 plugged into your computers and stuff, man. Yeah, man. Well, it's bad because they're gonna see a lot of weird porn. So, <laughs> oh, awesome. You're like, okay, Dogs we can't use this, but <laughs> oh, horror story, great. <laughs> All right. Next question. The Aransas Wildlife Refugee is home to more species of birds than any other area in North America. Huh. I don't know because, like, have you ever been to the Oregon, well, the Pacific Northwest? Boudreau. <laughs> 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 um, they always talk about wildlife sanctions up there too. Hmm. I would think it was Florida. Hmm. Where? Okay, w- one more time with a question. Like, where is this place at again? It's uh, it's southern Texas, south of uh, south of Houston. It's like the county. Okay, 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 okay. So it's near the shoreline, uh, ish. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, fuck. I want to say no. No, no. I'm gonna change it to yes. I'll go with yes. Is that your final answer? Yeah, because they can import birds, they can do whatever they can do. So yeah, I'll go with yes because Texas is fucking huge. <laughs> yeah, it's true. They actually have more birds than any other area in North America, and they're the, actually the winter home of North America's only remaining flock of whooping cranes. Wow! And I didn't think about migration either. Huh? That's why you said Florida, right, Aaron? <laughs> yeah. Well. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it's really weird down here because like in Illinois, you don't you don't really see a lot of like the you know the migratory birds, but down here you do. Hmm. Oh yeah. where the fuck are, where the fuck are they going? The only thing I see is like all the regular birds. They like come you down have here. geese, you have the regular <laughs> crows and shit or whatever. Whatever the birds are, they leave. But you're yeah, right. it's, it's, it's so time. weird because like yeah, because like when we were in Houston, we would hear geese migrating, and I'm like, "Well, geese aren't supposed to be. Oh, they're coming here. They're not leaving. They're coming here." <laughs> yeah. Well, that's, that's the right. whole thing about them heading south. I think they don't fly that fast, so by the time they, you know, head south, rest, head south. Oh, seasons change. Let's fucking turn around. We got to go back north. <laughs> they just spend their whole time flying. Like, right. Care. right. Like you dizzy motherfuckers. What are you doing? Oh, no I wonder that, that's like that's like the big thing. Like I just I don't think I can ever leave this area even though I want to. Well, I don't know. Never mind cuz I still want to go to Montana. But um Montana. Yeah. But the point of the story is is that that's like how you know you're home. When you see when it hits fall time and the air starts getting crisp and everything just flies in the south. <laughs> well, right. and, and who can drive across, you know, across the bridge and see a bunch of bald eagles just over in Alton and, you know, over in yeah. Illinois? Yeah. It, that's a crazy thing, man. They're so prestigious. 
when I worked when I worked at the uh, the refinery, you'd be at the docks and you know, you could hear them. But it's cool because it's not the same thing you hear. And those things are some of them got really fucking big out there too. But all right, mm-hmm. next question. Next, um, the world's first rodeo was held in Texas, July fourth, eighteen eighty three. Sure, because Texas is big with that kind of shit, right? You got that right. Pecos, <laughs> Texas. Well, was that the first recognized rodeo? The world's first rodeo. Back then, they didn't have Google, so they couldn't, you know, they couldn't <laughs> geolocate their fucking rodeo. Just think right. how talented all the like the the people were back in the day, like all those hand, ranch hands and all them who like. So I was watching all these really cool documentaries of the cowboys or like you know ranch hand style cowboys and how they always did tricks on their horses because there was nothing else to do they didn't have tv or anything just now they about... didn't have bmx bikes yeah. bikes <laughs> <BMX's. Bikes-es. laughs> but just think because they and and here's one thing i found out too which really pissed me off and i don't mean to jump onto a different thing is how diverse stuff was back in the day but they never mentioned it now let me finish when the <laughs> When the cowboys and all that time frame was going on, there was diversity all over the place. They have all these pictures and they had the saddle of this one guy who was in one of the traveling shows and he would do different tricks. And that saddle they had was actually like a workman saddle. and But he learned how to do tricks on it and that was his saddle he used because I guess they couldn't afford those like fancy ones. But – even back when we did our fucking pirates uh, episode, there was so much diversity all over the place. But when your history books tell you that like everything was white back in the 1800s, you're like, what? Just Sorry. a bunch of white people running around being white. Yeah, just only whites and Indians and whites killing Indians. And then the black well, people were did. only the slaves. And I'm like, this is when slavery ended. I mean, it was just a flooded market. Everybody just did whatever they did. Well, even uh history of Paul Revere. Uh so um Paul Revere only rode like twenty miles, but then you have a Jewish guy, Israel Bissell, that rode from Boston all the way I think down to Virginia and he yeah, was that's only he, like forty miles, so Well I never <laughs> heard who that guy wait. <laughs> who Nathaniel was the guy? Ha- so you have Israel Bissell. I never don't, heard of him. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm telling you. Oh. So, Paul, <laughs> yeah, Paul, if you shut up for a second. Paul Revere only ran, like, part of Massachusetts, and Israel Bissell ran states down, letting them know the, the, the British the Red, here. Yeah, the Reds are coming. So, but Nathaniel Hawthorne, the book, so Midnight, what, Min, Midnight Rides of Paul Revere? But he didn't ride that fucking long. But Israel Bissell ran all the way down the East Coast just to let people know that they were coming. That's but cool. yeah. the, but the, I never well, heard of that. No, the only reason that it's Paul Revere is even a subject is because Nathaniel Hall wrote the book, The Midnight yeah, and, Rides and Paul Revere. It sucks, too, because you think about this. You, you're getting mad at schools. Because they didn't teach you the shit, or at least if they did, they brushed through it so fast you didn't even pay attention. But then, of course, I went to a public school, so it was probably limited in what they could really teach us. But you, hey, frankly, yep, I'm here. I'm just listening. Yeah, no, hey, can you look that up? Israel Bissell and uh, Paul Revere. <laughs> like how we just all go to Frasley. <laughs> no, man, he's got to be involved. Excuse me, Frasley. <laughs> Excuse me. Yes, yes. I'm here, I'm here. <laughs> what do you wish, my master? <laughs> <laughs> He's the like genie it. of the well, land. Hey, Fr- Frasley, why aren't you chiming in? Because I'm listening. <laughs> well, and I'm also <laughs> editing in a program. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, shit. I know. I'm being turned for. No, I, I, I was listening. I got distracted. I'm sorry, Paul. No, no, well, no, 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 no. Well, well, and if it makes you all feel better, if it makes you, well, I'm I'm working too. I'm making a lasagna, so. <laughs> but I am listening. I, I really am trying to listen. I am listening. Week. No, I'm used to Frasley. Like when we touch subjects that he's not really prevalent on, he just kind of yeah, he yeah he just starts you know he just does Googling everything. 
Yeah, well, he's all like, oh, here's a picture of a penis. Here you guys go. Enjoy. As a host, <laughs> yeah. I know when guests <laughs> chime in on things that they don't know a lot about, so I, mm-hmm. I try as a guest, or at least, yeah, I, th- I yeah. Well, whatever I am here, I, I try not to make Paulie's editing more of a hassle than it is. Oh, no. Oh, no, no d- you're fine. Yeah. Me and, I'm uh, sorry. Me and A. Ron were talking about this last night, about how we're when you come down to uh, St. Louis, what all things are going to do to you, Frasley. Oh no! <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh no! I'm when you scared. when you head back home, we're gonna make sure you have a couple blow up dolls, you know, a neck or well, well, and, and Frasley, <laughs> Frasley, before you come to town, make sure that your uh, hobo stab insurance is paid up. Yes, uh, make sure you have your tetanus shots. You Uh-oh. know, <laughs> sign the last wills if you need to. <laughs> you do have the malaria shot, right? Yeah, actually, I did because I was over in Guatemala and I was putting my hand into this water, and like I did these cuts from all the all, all the metal we were moving around. I was like, I'm glad I have this this shot right Jeez. here because I mean, I literally was putting my hand into barrels full of dirty water. Yeah, the, yeah, the, the you know dengue fever shot. Yeah, H1N1. Oh, oh man. Do you remember swine flu? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're yeah, like we want to come up and do a meetup sometime, or have you come down for a meetup sometime? Oh, absolutely! I want to be there. Maybe not, nah, man. Well, fuck we're it. Going. Let's just road trip it all the way down to Texas, or bring Josh up from Texas. Oh goodness! Yeah. Uh, yeah, going to Texas is a long fucking drive. Josh can drive himself. <laughs> okay, we'll fly Josh up here then. <laughs> uh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put money on it. In it. Let, I got let, five on it. Oh, yeah, it. Uh, when was the last time you did drugs, Razzly? Uh You mean... Does um, today count? <laughs> yeah. And, <laughs> what, do you mean over the counter, or do you mean... You mean before, before ten minutes ago? Are you allergic to needles? Uh... <laughs> Not He's that like, I'm I not coming of. down to St. Louis. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next question. A lot of people shot. know that Dr. Pepper was invented in Waco in 1885. I didn't know that. True or? Oh, oh yeah, it was. Well, there you go. <laughs> oh, you... thank you. <laughs> we got a mulligan. We got a guinea. <laughs> yeah. True. <laughs> True. Yes, we got mulligans. <laughs> <laughs> I say false. Oh my god! Well, Dr. Pepper was invented in Waco in 1885, but true or false, there is no period in Dr. Pepper. Uh, true, there is no that's, period. That's, that's true. It's just false. Dr. Pepper. Well, they had that plant off of 170. You know the Seven Up uh, Dr. <laughs> plant. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want robotic, Aaron? Oh, okay. Uh, no, that's true because that's true. there's no period. What doc- plant were you talking about? Not planet. Plant. It's no plant. It's at it's at one seventy K. Yeah, it's like, uh, yeah, it's. Curing I think it's now. across from the. It's across from the BMW Auto House. It's it's across from the rent and roll. Where, you know, like go to one seventy and page <laughs> the there. rent and roll. <laughs> Yeah, you know, like rent to own rent. No, I know. I, I'm. I have one yeah, down the, the road for stab. me. Yeah, gotcha. <laughs> I, I only. Know, I only know because I spent an hour changing a flat tire. Almost people driving shit. Anyway, go ahead. Yeah. Next. So there's no period in Dr Pepper. That's right. I did not know. Like that's that's one thing. The only thing I know of Waco is the Jesus thing. You know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we were on social media the other day, and we're looking at this stupid dance thing people are doing now. I don't know why the hell we're on there for the show or some shit, like show notes or something. And the Waco, Texas, this girl comes on and she's like, "Waco, Waco," and I'm like, "What the fuck is this shit?" All I know from Waco is the burning of the compound, not Dr Pepper or anything. (laughs) Yeah, from (sighs) Dallas. Oh, I'm from Waco. Well, you're. You're a molester and rapist. Yeah, it's and funny. Fr- we branded the entire place. Is that a chappy? Hey. Yeah. Hey, chappy. How you doing? Oh, I'm just sitting here posted. Okay, cool. That's the only reason I was able to join out. I'm like, I'm just going to jump in. 
see if they're still recording. Yep, we're talking to... Josh is doing trivia this time around. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I do stuff. I was actually asking you... uh, Asking about you last night. Yeah, yeah. That's funny. Who's that? A.A. Ron? You don't know me, apparently. You don't know me. Oh. All right, Josh. Next question. No. All I, right. This this I, is actually I the last question. I don't re- huh? All right, go, Josh. Last question. How many capital cities does Texas have? A lot. No. Oh, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, I want to say two, but it's not. It's one. Everyone uh. has one. Cupcake said two. So, oh my god, I went... <laughs> I hate the god, I was not lit. It is two? Is there two? So I was right? Two is not correct. Oh, damn. <laughs> are you going to go with two? I was going to go with two, but what? how many are there? Three. There's actually six. What Whoa. the? How, is, how do you have six capitals? Because whenever... Um, Remember, we talked about this earlier that, you know, Texas was signed in by a treaty. Oh, my God. Yeah, there could be five other states. So that would be six capitals. Yeah, five. We have one for each state and then uh, one for, you know, the Texas capital, which is Austin. Hmm. But they are Washington on the Brazos, Harrisburg, Galveston, Velasco, West Columbia, and Austin. Hmm. Yeah. And one little fun fact about Galveston, uh, the flagship hotel is the only hotel in North America that was built all um, completely over water. What? Oh. Yep, the flagship hotel. Uh, it was it was the only hotel in North America that was built completely over water and it was destroyed by Hurricane Ike. In what is they saying? What is Satan uh, saying? I don't know who uh, has a pager going answer. off. That's, oh, that's um uh, that's Chappie. That She's me. on a uh, ambulance rig. <laughs> We're just going to do a, do a transfer. It's all right. No big deal. I'm in the passenger. He's gonna have to listen to me talk, which he usually does. That's cool. Well, now we can give you our undivided attention since the uh, trivia's over with. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Actually, I gotta get going, but. Well, thanks, man. For uh... <laughs> he's like, uh, I'm not giving anybody attention. Goodbye. Yeah, because it's already our stopping time. But no, man, thank you very much. This is kind of cool being on the other side of a trivia game. (laughs) No, that was really good. That was fun. Yeah. Yeah, it was. uh, I look. What I looked up was uh, actually just fun Texas fact. That's cool. I like that. And yes, I think the flagship hotel was the one that's uh, that's haunted. (gasps) Uh, Really, the one that got destroyed. Is that like? Is that the one that's not a theme park? I don't know. Like they have like roller coasters and shit there now. That's no, like owned no, by the guy it was it was Catholic. destroyed by Hurricane Ike. Okay, well, because I know there was a I one like that was Ike. overwater that was, um, but that never mind. That was uh, a Harvey that was over the water, and it's now like a theme park or some shit. Texas would have to be very haunted. They have a lot of history. Yeah, you can't go down any highway where there's not like some kind of historical marker where something happened. Well, Josh, uh, Paul was telling me last night that uh, you're into well, a lot of things. I think it would be cool. I think we need <laughs> not fucked up things. So knock this shit off. But... <laughs> I told him you're into whips and chains and having safe <laughs> words. You, Paul. That's my job. Yeah, so that was I like Chappie. Was Chappie sent me a text today going, Josh, you would like this. So she goes, your system of the down song. Uh, no, I, violent I porn like, rock, poor girl. Yeah, I was like, I feel, yeah, I got a serious question. And then I waited like two minutes and I texted him again. And I was like, it's the song Violent Pornography by System of a Down, your uh, theme song. Because I feel like it's your like theme song. So if you think never, of the lyrics, you have the lyrics I, with you. I, I think I think Paul's theme song would be self-deprecating pornography. <laughs> have you? <laughs> <laughs> Shit, that's really robotic. I, bro- I broke him. <laughs> Dude, you broke the A-Rod. 
I think like Paulie's theme song would be, uh, you know, I logged into Pornhub and and searched uh, weird shit. <laughs> No. I just thought it was funny because likes weird ch- I, like, she goes, I like the fact that I'm the one that calls going, hey, I don't know if this was supposed to happen. I did this and this and this. And I'm like, no, it's not supposed to happen because you're not supposed to do that. <laughs> yeah, I got a light bulb stuck up my bum. Is that, is it? <laughs> and then he was he gets mad at me because I laugh at it. I'm like, mm. what do you expect me to like stay serious when you talk about bobby pins and shit? I, mean, I got a Luke Skywalker <laughs> stuck in my urethra. Oh, Luke Skywalker stuck in my What hearing. the fuck? Oh, <laughs> the lightsaber part. <laughs> oh, I wish I could put... Hold on a second. In my uridi? In my uridi? <laughs> no, but I thought it was funny when she goes, Hey, do you know the song? I think this should be his theme. And the first thing I see is System of the Down. I'm like, well, Josh likes them. <laughs> I made him Google the lyrics. <sighs> oh, I just watched the video and I was like, Okay. Hmm. No, you just have to read the lyrics because it's just like I swear this is like Holly's song. <laughs> Jeez, all right. And I said this like out loud while I was in the truck, and my partner's like, "What?" And I'm like, "Okay, he likes some weird shit." So, how's your I, TV sitcom handle holding out? Oh, that's over. That's been over. What? I done called him out on his bullshit. There go. May. All right, buddy. Well, Bye, thanks guys. again, Josh. This is fun. Yep. See ya. Hey, thanks. Thanks, Josh. If you're lonely, you can talk to me. Yep. So, yeah. Chappie, Thanks, Josh. I'm, I'm confused. Can you talk about sitcom or not? I can talk about sitcom. He's a douchebag. <laughs> well, we all knew that. <laughs> but, I mean... <laughs> well, I mean, he's not really a douchebag. He's just an idiot. Yeah. I mean, I have a love-hate relationship, but I called him out on his bullshit probably at the end of May and hurt his feelings. And he's like... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take you off of here and unfriend you on Facebook. And I'm like, okay, bye. Oh, what a sweet little princess. What about Instagram? This, this... Did they take you off that one? What? <laughs> I, I'm never on Instagram. That was the joke about, like, just throwing another social media site. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, no, we were on Snapchat, and I, like... Oh, yeah, there. the Snapchat. That's what you yeah. kids are on now. I, I, I called one of my medics and I was like, I'm going to fucking kill him. I'm going to beat this shit out of him. Like, I really wasn't going to kill him. Chappy, you can send uh, nudes I, on Snapchat, right? Send nudes on anything you want. To <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 well, you know my birthday's <laughs> coming up, Chappy. Uh, no, I'm good. Oh, man. Here well, we go. Uh, it, send it to Frasley. That'd be funny. Oh, no. I, I mean... I mean uh, that, you gotta that, do that, it that. right when he's like in the middle of one of his important shows with like some big important people on. Right. Oh, like starts talking about his like gay Be like, oh, uh, oh wow, boobs. 